Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video I would like to share how I repaired the water damage of the slide out of our 2006 travel trailer. It wasn't an easy task, especially because I knew nothing about it. I had to replace both corners of the slide out. On the first area that I replaced I spent well over 5 hours, but on the second one with the experience that I got from this first part I did it in less than 2 hours and the results were better. First, I removed the aluminum piece of the outside of the slide out and removed the front fascia bottom piece to find out how the floor was touched to the walls. Then, I removed this corner molding. Since the floor was rotting in this part, I had to use a spatula to pry the screws and be able to unscrew them. In the solid part of the wood, it was easy to remove the screws. I did the same operation on both sides of the slide out. Then I removed the bolts that hold the slide out to the rails. On this part I made a mistake because I didn't know that I don't need to remove the bolts on both sides, only on the area where the bolts were attached to a rotten part of the plywood. After that I started preparing the slide out to remove the floor. So I raised the entire box using a couple of 2x4s and a car jack stand to get the weight of the slide out off of the transom as the best as I could. Basically, I screwed the 2x4s using the same slide out screw holes so I didn't make more holes that can cause more wear damage in the future. I marked the position of the screws by hammering the 2x4s over the head of the screws and using the marks as a reference to drilling the holes in the 2x4s. Then I used longer screws to hold everything. With the hydraulic car jack, I lift the slide out and put the jack stand in place. Yes, that noise scares me a little bit. The floor of the slide out on this RV was 1 inch thick plywood and I couldn't find any at Home Depot or Lowe's. So I had to buy two half inch thick plywood boards and glue them together. I did this the day before so the wood glue was cured at the time that I need to be installed. Here comes my second mistake. As I still didn't know how to separate the floor from the side walls, I was trying to find any screws that can be holding the floor, so I started by removing the interior side paneling, which I realized after that it wasn't necessary. That delayed me about an hour or so because the wall paneling was very good glue to the frame, and it was very difficult to separate without damaging it. At this point, I was already a little bit frustrated, so I started trying to break the rotten part of the floor to try to find out another way to separate it from the rest of the slide out. My first idea was to remove the entire floor, that's why I removed the bolts before. Then with the plywood outside, I was gonna be able to work easily on replacing the rotten parts. But as I find out that it was too difficult, I decided to do it with a good part of the floor in place. I cut with the circular saw part of the plywood and then tried to separate it with a pry bar from the outside but a good part needed to be cut yet. I finished the cut with the reciprocating saw because the circular saw didn't reach the entire portion that needed to be cut. And finally, I saw the light at the end of the tunnel, literally. Then I did the same thing to the other side, only that this time I worked smartly. I didn't struggle with an entire piece, I cut it into smaller sections and then cut it to size. I must say that I put pocket holes in the side that attach to the other part of the plywood, but I forgot to film that part. Those pocket holes are underneath and make the floor very strong. Then screw everything from below to hold it to the entire structure again. And this is the final result. In the next video, I will show you how I replace the bed slide out floor. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. If so, please leave a comment, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.